Okay, example four, coming in front of example three. Um, let's do some fun quotes. Uh, we've got some quotes here a little bit below that we want to make a little bit more fun than they are right now. Uh, we want to change the font and the color, and then we want to uh, add some like fancy like quotation looking things right here. So let us do that, even though my slides are a little bit out of order today. OK, so this is what we've got. It's a block quote, which is the correct semantic way to mark up this quote. Note that the paragraph is on the inside. Uh, because this is uh, not allowed just directly in the body, um, or rather the paragraph is, but the block quote is not allowed directly inside the paragraph element. So that's what our HTML looks like. Let's come back up here. All right. We're going to give it a selector quote P. We're going to get at it that way. And uh, let's give it a background just so that we can see where where the background, where the uh, paragraph element actually is. So this is a this is the size of the paragraph right here. That we're dealing with. Um, now actually if you were to highlight it you can see that um, the block quote is much bigger. The, the, uh, the yellow part here is is the uh, margin of the block quote and then the blue part is the inside of the block quote. When we pull open the block quote this is uh, the yellow part is the margins of the paragraph and the blue part is the actual paragraph size. So we're just going to work directly with the paragraph. So let's give it, first of all, a text indent that's negative. So it pulls back a little bit. That looks a little bit neater. We can do some other tricks, like uh, let's give it a padding left. I have 65 pixels, and let's move it down a little bit too. So now it's kind of indented a bit more. Okay, let's give it the font changes. Font style, italic. We want it to be italic. Uh, font family, we want it to look cursive. So we'll just give it the generic cursive. And save. And refresh. So looking kind of cool there. Um, so now let's actually add a background image to this. Um, and this will give us the ability to put a little quotation mark, uh, you know, uh, piece of flair there. So the syntax for including uh, the URL to a file is a little bit tricky. You need to, you can't just put the URL of it, you have to put this little container around it and then you put the URL in here. No quotes are needed uh, for the URL and the file name is quotes and it's a ping. So let's save that and I'm going to uh, give it a background position, a background repeat of uh, no repeat so that it doesn't fly, fly across. We only want one. Okay, let's look at that so far. Let's check to see that it's actually there. Yeah, so this is the image. This should be showing up there. Why isn't it? I probably have a syntax error here somewhere. I do. Background. 
typing with this pen in my hand is the problem. And there's the image, just right back positioned there. And uh, so that would be if you wanted to specify a little bit in more detail, you could say background position. Then you give it the, uh, the coordinates uh, from the left, say 10 pixels, um, and then say 10 from the top. And then I'll move it down. So you can kind of put this wherever you want. If you had the quotes going the other way, you could put it out over here. Um, now you actually can't pull it into the inside there because it, it'll uh, be hidden once it goes beyond this. So you couldn't put it out here. Um, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, so here's the uh, selector for the image and then the position of it. Once we make it less than zero, it kind of disappears. Which is why I gave it this um, padding here to begin with. All right, so let's remove this. And there's, here's our example um, we've gone through and take the final look at what it looks like. Nice little quote.